If you're new to this whole podcasting on YouTube thing, then you're probably in the same boat as a lot of other podcasters, wondering what types of videos to make, how you can repurpose your podcast into videos that are gonna perform really well here on YouTube. Well, in this video, I am going to share some game-changing tips with you that are super easy to apply and will accelerate your channel growth and your audience growth for your podcast. So let's get to it. Hey, hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. Here on our channel, we make videos about podcasting, YouTube, and social media. We always share some really helpful tips. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing here. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite tool in the world, probably, well, I don't know, there's so many tools I love, but this one is TubeBuddy. If you haven't heard of TubeBuddy yet, and you have a channel on YouTube, you gotta get a hold of TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a Google Chrome extension, and it has a ton of tools that help you accelerate your growth with your YouTube channel, so let's check it out right now. What we can do is go to tubebuddy.com slash podsoundschool, and that will take you to where you can sign up, Let's take a look at their pricing real quick. Now here with the pro option, if you come down here, you'll notice that if you click this, you can get this for $3.60 a month. I would highly, highly recommend this. That's the best $3 a month you'll ever spend. But all you have to do is download it here by pressing select, and then it will actually show up on your YouTube channel as a Google Chrome extension. You'll see it right here, and you also see it right here. By clicking here, that's where we are going to find my favorite tool of TubeBuddy, and that's called the Keyword Explorer. You see it right here. So this is sort of a dashboard that pops up where we have tools, messages, industry news, and milestones. We're gonna be focusing on Keyword Explorer. Now quickly, I just wanna let you know, we're looking at a client's channel, the You're Such a Catch podcast. This is a great podcast all about dating in Los Angeles and the struggles of dating in your late 30s, early 40s. Really awesome podcast. Well, she just started this YouTube channel, so this is a brand new channel. It's a perfect channel to illustrate this for you because she only has 11 subscribers. So if we can find some keywords and some video ideas that she can make that are really gonna grow her channel at the small size it's at right now, then you can do the same as well. So let's launch Keyword Explorer. How we do that is, again, we come up here. You'll notice you can access it here on the side or you can also access it by clicking Launch Keyword Explorer. So all we have to do here is start to type in keywords. Now, I experimented with a bunch of keywords before recording this video, so you didn't have to watch me for hours typing them in. But just to illustrate this for you, since this is a dating podcast about dating in Los Angeles, let's try typing in dating in Los Angeles, just to see what kind of results we get. And then I will explain to you what we see here. First off, the overall score, it says poor. Aww. And it says this score above is specific to your channel. You notice how it says weighted right here? This weighted option actually takes your channel into account when it's giving you this score. The unweighted option here where we get a much higher score, this is the option that's available on the free version of TubeBuddy. So you really want to upgrade to that $3 and again, you can go to tubebuddy.com slash podsoundschool. That's our affiliate link. So if you do decide to sign up with them, we get a small commission and anything really helps so that we can keep making these videos for you. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm a little dry. Caffeine. Now it's important before conducting keyword research that you have your caffeine. Otherwise, it's not as effective. You need some caffeine to get through these videos. Whoa, <laughs> but back to this, that is how our channel would rank for this video, saying poor. And why is that? If we come down here, we get more information under score analysis. Here we see search volume, and you'll see that it searched pretty high. It's up here in the yellow. Well, here's a little hack that you can try since you do have a podcast and you're repurposing your podcast. Let's try typing in the word podcast after dating in Los Angeles. And now look at the score that TubeBuddy gives us. This is really fun. This is a little needle in the haystack. And now I have already, I saw this and I got excited and I said, Aaron, you gotta make a video about dating in Los Angeles because wow, we can rank really high for it. So this is really cool. And the other thing that I love about Keyword Explorer right here is, you notice we're under the summary tab. 
We also have a results tab. You also have a historical and a map tab. I don't get into these too much. I'm usually just in the summary and the results. But as you can see down here in the results, this will show us videos that pop up for this rank right here. So we do have a dating in Los Angeles right here. The problem with dating in Los Angeles. And this is cool because here you can kind of use this to spy on other channels and other videos to take a look and get inspired by what they're doing with their videos and what keywords they're using on their videos. So that's really great. So now what I would do, and this is a really cool tip, is I have a spreadsheet that I've created. And now you can create a spreadsheet in Airtable, you can create it in Google Sheets, you can use Excel, whatever you wanna do to create a spreadsheet. But what I'll do is I'll actually copy this keyword, and then I will look at the score that I get, a 98, and I'll look at the search volume that I'm getting. I'm getting a dark green in the search volume. And I'll pop over to Airtable here, where I have a blank table. And here under keyword and phrase, I will press Command V or Control V for Victor on a PC, which will paste this into here. And then my TubeBuddy score was 98, which is awesome. That means I can rank as the first or second video when somebody searches for this term. And in the TubeBuddy color, I'll select dark green there. Okay, now let's look for some other keywords. Since this is a dating podcast about being single, maybe we want to look at single life. We type in single life here and it populates a poor result. We see that that's searched a lot. But one thing you'll notice over here is it says related video searches. This is super helpful. The other thing you could do is simply just type in single life and you can check out what it populates here too because this is what people are typing in after the word single life. So this can give you a good idea. But since I'm seeing a lot of like single life songs, single life WhatsApp status, single life TikTok, maybe single life isn't good. Maybe we could try something like how to be happy single. And again, we're getting a really poor score here by wording it this way, how to be happy single. You can see that it searched a ton and that's why this small channel isn't gonna rank for it right now. If I were to go over to results, I could see some of the other videos that were made. How to be happy single right here, date yourself. And I can get inspired by those videos. I could watch the videos. I could also, if I were to click on one of these videos, you'll see something that comes with TubeBuddy is called Videolytics. I'll go ahead and press pause here. But you see how this says Videolytics? This is something that will show up once you install TubeBuddy. And here it gives you a lot of information about this video. It will show you the tags that they use and you can even click on show search rankings to see how they're ranking for it. This can be a good way to get inspiration for different tags that you might be able to rank for. And if you click on them here, it'll actually bring up Keyword Explorer from within this video as well, a separate Keyword Explorer window. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to come back here and reword this in a way and find different variations of this um, in the summary here that I could actually rank for on this channel. So after some experimenting, I found that if I type learn to be happy single, I get a much better score. We get an 86 out of 100. A score like that is gonna have you in the top five videos that populate if somebody types in learn to be happy single. Now it also shows you right here that the search volume is up in the yellow and that's really good. As a good practice when you're trying to grow your channel, when your channel's small, you might have to go after keywords that are in the orange area or even in the red area sometimes. But if you can get up into the yellow and up into the green and a high score up here, you're gonna see some serious growth with your YouTube channel. So what I'll do here is rinse and repeat this process. I'll highlight this keyword or phrase. I'll copy it, pop over into my spreadsheet and paste it. And then I will type in 86 for the score. And I know that the TubeBuddy color was yellow. Okay, now let's just illustrate one more. I have signs, she loves you, but is scared. Signs, she loves you, but is scared. Now, this is a 58 and it's in the orange, but this was still a good keyword and it took me a long time to arrive at this keyword. So at first, especially when your channel's small, you're gonna have to experiment a lot with this to find the little needles in the haystack. But once you do, then you can really start cooking with gas. So we have 58 over 100 and we're in the orange. So I'll put 58 here and we're in the orange. Now that you have these keywords, what do we do with the keywords? Well, this is where the strategy really comes into play. So now that you have the keywords, you can use these keywords to sort of inspire what your podcast episodes will be about. If you have an interview podcast, for example, and you know that you can rank for learn to be happy single, 
Well, maybe you're talking to somebody who's maybe in their 40s or something, and they have figured out how to be happy single, how to love themselves and date themselves. So what you could do is you could either make your podcast interview about that, or you could just record your podcast as usual. But near the end of your time with the guest, you could say, I'd like to pivot right now. And can we just take some time? I know that people on YouTube are searching for learn to be happy single, and you're an expert in that. Can we take just a minute and talk about that for a minute and share your expertise? And boom, you have a really great video that will rank really well and provide value for people on YouTube. Then all you have to do is pop in beforehand, record yourself doing a little hook. On today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can learn to be happy being single with my expert blah, blah, blah. You can start to see how this keyword research before you record your podcast episodes, before you create your content, actually finding things that people are searching for so that you can provide value. That doesn't mean you have to make how-to videos or teach people how to fix their swimming pool to grow on YouTube. No, you can still do comedy, you can still do commentary, any type of podcast you're doing, but just do it on topics that you know people are searching for. Then you're not just throwing spaghetti at the wall, then you're not just shooting darts in the dark, then you're actually targeting and getting a bigger bang for your efforts. Hopefully this got your juices just flowing like crazy and you're ready to explode and step into the light and be amazing with your podcast because you are amazing, Podski, and you owe it to yourself to work smarter not harder. And if you are new to podcasting on YouTube, we put together a killer guide that you can download for free just by visiting the link in the description below. It's a podcast to video starter guide, and it just gets you up to speed with things like what camera to choose, what lighting do I need, how do I get my background going, how do I get my face and my podcast onto video and make that transition from audio to video. It's an awesome guide. Definitely go get your free copy of that. And also, if you haven't yet, do me a favor and like this video if you found it valuable and make sure to leave any comments, any questions you have. I will personally respond to those comments. We love to engage with our Podskis here on our channel. Thanks for watching. And until I catch you next time, happy casting, Pod Doggy. Oh, and happy YouTubing too, dog style. Podalicious, pod capricious, indelible perfection. Okay, Pod Doggy. Woo! Ha! We'll catch you next time. We'll catch you next time, Podski, Tubeski, Content Creation Ski, all of the skis. Ooh, ooh, ooh.